The United States and Chagas have a very complex relationship. More than 350,000 Americans have Chagas right now, but it's widely believed that those infections were acquired elsewhere, like Latin America, and then those individuals moved or returned to the United States. But if you dig a little bit into the literature, you'll find sentences like, the United States cannot be classified as an area where the disease is not endemic. The United States cannot be classified as an area of non-endemicity for Chagas disease in the same sense as Europe and Asia, where immigrants with Chagas also move. But those areas are absolutely listed as non-endemic. So why does the United States fall into an area where we can't decide if Chagas is endemic or non-endemic? At the baseline, Chagas is a parasitic disease caused by the protozoan parasite Trypanosoma cruzii. Its main form of transmission is the kissing bug, but there are other forms. And we know that kissing bugs have established in the United States. They're not even invasive here, they're native. We also know that the United States has wildlife reservoirs for Chagas. Raccoons and wood rats actively pick up trypanosomes and spread them. We have vector, we have parasite, we have wildlife. How does that not instantly equal disease transmission in the United States? Well, we unintentionally do a pretty good job of keeping ourselves separate from kissing bugs, the vector. American homes typically have AC and they're built on concrete slabs. This all deters insects from invading your home, including kissing bugs. Those two factors greatly reduce the spread of Chagas in the United States. However, we still see human transmission locally. The cases appear to be low, but they are still there, particularly in California, Arizona, and Texas. The information that we have about these cases is very few and far between because we have basically no surveillance for this parasite, and we also have very little awareness among medical professionals about Chagas. But the primary risks seem to be hunting, camping, military service, and work that takes you out at night. There also seems to be a connection to living in rural areas or living around lots of animals. I'm not that surprised because parasites typically don't abide by geopolitical boundaries we draw on maps. 